This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. We have some amazing viewers out there, just like you, and we appreciate your sharing your story ideas, photos, and videos. As you have demonstrated with your amazing images, Kansas has some incredible scenery and wildlife. Please continue to share those stories and images by either posting to our Facebook page or emailing me at the address on the screen. Frankie and I appreciate all the amazing things you do. It makes our job so much easier. And now, one of those amazing stories brought to our attention by a diligent photographer. There is yet another snake story, yet another scary snake out there, even though the experts tell me it is harmless. Jay Miller posted pictures of snakes in the water at Cheyenne Bottoms, in the canal next to the viewing tower. Multiple snakes. Long snakes. Jay estimated they were about six feet long. Someone commented that the snakes were diamond backwater snakes, and Jay, and Jay agreed. I fell out of my chair, just when I thought it was safe to go back into the water. Again, let me say they are harmless. Six-foot-long diamond backwater snakes. Good grief. Is there no end to the scariness? Harmless. Ha! Huh. Just in case you should encounter a snake in the pond or the lake, let us turn to the good folks at Fort Hayes State University for a description. Larger adults may appear solid brown to olive when they are dry, but the diamond-shaped pattern is usually discernible on wet individuals. The tail is ringed, and the rings are the same color as the dorsal markings. The belly is entirely yellow to cream color. Adults normally reach 30 to 48 inches. The largest specimen from Kansas, a female specimen from Douglas County, was 55 and a half inches. The heaviest example from the state, a female from Lyon County that weighed 3 pounds 14 ounces. Found commonly in farm ponds, reservoirs, and streams along the Caw, below Manhattan, the Meridazine, Neosho, Vertigris, and Arkansas, below Great Bend, rivers. The diamond back water snake inhabits rivers, sloughs, ponds, backwaters, and oxbows. Active from March to September, it basks during the day on brush, logs, and grassy banks along the edge of the water. In the summer, it searches for food at night. Large litters, ranging from 13 to 62 young. Yes, you heard me right. 13 to 62 young are usually born from August to early October. It feeds primarily on slow-moving or dead fishes. Mating probably takes place right after emergence from hibernation. Many males may court one female at the same time. The females are usually quite a bit larger than the males. The pair usually will select a basking perch, such as a shrub or branch overhanging water for mating, though they have been observed on the banks or even in the water. A big thank you to nature photographer Jay Millers making us aware of this creature. Welcome to Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in Oakley, Kansas on I-70 at exit 76. I-70, after all, is America's Main Street, and we're right here on Main Street for you. Now that I'm an Oakley resident, I still come in almost every day, and I sit and listen to the conversations of the people around me. You know, the guys who are talking about the big elk they just bagged or the folks who are taking their kid to college for the first time. People just traveling up and down the highway. Real people, just like you and me. And they find just what I find here, real people to serve them. There's history, there's scenery. We hope you'll stop and see us soon. Welcome to Oakley.